record. Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to the weekly outlook. If you give me two minutes, a lot of questions in the course, so I'll go through pretty fast. This is how our course is structured. You join our group, you make a one-time payment, a single payment for life. You never have to pay for anything. You're paying for six weeks of training. That's six weeks of training. That's what you pay for. After that, you will have free access to our group for life. That is, you're in the group. You get to talk to everybody, discuss everything you want. You get access to our, that is the group. You get access to our trading room. We have a trading room that works almost 24 seven, which means it's open all the time, but not people are not there every time, right? We have like sessions when the guys are in there and you will see me in there one session. That is this session that I'm doing right now. I would normally be in my trading room doing this session, as well as you will get access to my daily update webinar. Every London morning, every morning, 8 a.m. London, 8 a.m. London time, I do a webinar like I do here and I give in-depth, in-depth analysis of all the pairs we do. That takes about an hour every day. So you are well aware of what trades we are looking for, what are the trade setups, what are the reasons for the trade, and you know how to trade them because you have our strategy. Right? And then you go in the trading room where the guys are trading and you can discuss those trades again. You can decide when to take them, when not to take them, if you want to take them, because not all the traders in the room will take all the trades, right? That's not how we work. Some traders are trading only one pair. And if you're new, that's what we advise you to do, trade only one pair. And as you get more advanced, you take on more pairs. But we look at over 30, 40 pairs a day, right? So we have traders that don't trade only oil. We have traders who trade only Swiss pairs. Some people trade only Aussie. We had a trader who went from 1,000 to 10,000 trading only the Aussie. Nothing else but the Aussie. So every trader has his style and what he's doing, but you're all in the group with us. You were here for live, you will always get advice. When you do the, when you do the course, it's simple. We do, I do all the classes, the theoretical classes. I show you how it's done to give you the rules, tell you how to do it. And then we break the groups up into smaller groups. And you're in a very small group with one of my senior traders who are going to train you literally for two weeks, for four out of the six weeks, you're getting practical training, which is you come in and you become the presenter in the small group and you show your charts and you show what you've learned and he corrects what you're making mistakes. When that is over, you get to do the same thing, but you get to do it with me. We call that the marathon. The marathon goes from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Moscow time. I would be in that room with two or three breaks from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And every single trader who wants to have training sessions with me will have it. We are, we are doing it in such a way that every single trader who take the course get to do at least once with me, sometimes more than once, sometimes twice and thrice and as much as you need until you learn to trade. Remember, you're here for life. And we do this on a daily basis. So you get to ask all the questions you want to ask and you don't have to go away. You get to see my update and the analysis every single day. So you get an explanation of what we're looking at, why we're looking at like that, what is our trade entry, where we're looking for, everything you need to do until you can do it on your own and then you will be helping to train new traders when you can do that. That's how amazing it is. So when you're in a group, and we have a lot of traders in the group. Some of the traders, they don't, they're not always active in the group itself, but they look at the webinar, they have access to it because they're working or they're doing other stuff, but they have access to the webinar, right? So if you find somebody out there trying to steal my course and sell it, don't buy it from them because you're losing 90% of what we do in here. The recordings themselves has little value. It's the training sessions and being constantly with me every day in the room to have updates and being in the trading sessions with the guys that is, that is valuable, not just the recording. The recording is just a series of things that, remember, we have traders who took that course a year ago and some of them are still struggling because they're busy working, they're doing all this stuff, they don't have enough time to do all this work. And we have traders with experience who took the course two weeks after they're busily making money. So it all depends on your ability to learn. Traders write me, if I take your course, would I, would I be a successful trader? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know your ability to learn anything. Maybe you don't have the ability to learn it. How can I guarantee you'll be successful? Maybe you become the most 
you know, the smartest trader in the room, but you don't have the appetite for risk, which means you can't click the trade. We have traders like that. They just can't click the trade. We have, that's why we have the trading room, so we can force them to click the trade, right? Because people are very good. They, they get the, the concept, they understand it, they know they can do the analysis, great, but they can't click the trade. So I go in the trading room with them and I said, take this trade now, even if you have to take it with one single micro, take the darn trade right now. And that's how we get them to take trades. And then they get, they get used to it and then they develop an appetite for it and they understand it and they start increasing that until they can trade. That's what we do here. We, we make you traders. That's what we do. That is why you will never find me having, we have, you know, you go to other websites. They said, oh, you can buy our package. You can buy the golden package. You can buy the basic package, the platinum package. And my question to those people are, what package will make him a trader? If somebody buys it, which one of those packages will make him a trader? None. Because those packages don't make you a trader. That's not what trading is about. We don't have packages. We take you and we make you a trader. It's that simple. You stay with us until you learn to trade. As long as you're willing to learn, as long as you have the ability to learn. Some traders come in this group, they took the course, they stick around and said, trading is not for me. I've had a couple of traders who wrote me that. Thank you, you saved me a lot of money. I'm not losing money anymore, but I know now that trading is not for me. And that is good, that's also good. At least you stop losing your money. You have made a decision that this is not your thing. You're not born for this. You don't have the appetite for it. And you shouldn't be doing it. That's it. That's what we do here. So don't ask me for a website with platinum this and gold that and basic stuff this and advanced that and our fancy war room or whatever you want to call it and this and that. Fancy names. We don't have those fancy names. We're not packaged. We're not McDonald's. We don't package things and sell it to you. We train you to trade, right? You're not buying a burger here with different fancy names in it. It's bread and, and, and meat inside, no matter what you call it. That's with marketing. We don't do that. You don't find me doing that stuff, right? So I would always say, just Skype me and all the rest is over. You want to learn to trade? Come to me. You don't want to learn to trade? I'm not going to force you. That's easy. We do, have, we do have demands. You must have at least one year. You must have at least one year experience in the room. If not, don't come because I'll tell you to go get experience. You should never take a training course if you don't have a year experience because you're not, you don't have the ability to make that decision whether the course is good or not. And you will not understand much in the course either. So take a year, go wrong, look around, study all you can for free, and then decide if you want to trade, come to us. People who are selling you course because you're new, is because they know you're new. That is why they want to sell you course. Because you don't know anything. So they can sell you any BS for $500. There's a lot of that out there. Anybody comes to me and say they don't have a year experience, and some of you in this room may have come to me for that, I always go back to you. Go to babypip.com, read this book, The Elliott Wave Principles. Spend a year looking around at all the free stuff you can get, and then come back to me. I think there must be some one of you who have asked me that before and you said you don't have a year experience and I told you to go do that. Somebody in this room must have asked, right? Because a lot of people do send that to me and I said, don't, don't, you're not ready for it, right? Right, one person did say that. One person is there to, to, to you know, but there are many, many, many who did that. And I just said, no, no, you're not ready for it. Stick around, learn that stuff and then come back. You must also have the capital to trade. If you don't have the capital, then, Unlikely you would make money without the capital. Yes, I didn't ask. If your account is not big enough, I don't accept you as well. It's that simple because I don't want your money. That's not, I'm not here to take your money. I'm here to, to, to make you a trader if you can learn to trade. People who are trying to get your $500. A guy called me once and he said he had to take $20,000 on his credit card to pay for a course. And that course taught him nothing. I was like, that's crazy. Why did they allow you to take the course in the first place? People come to me and they said, oh, I'm saving up money for your course. I was like, no, you don't want to do that. You shouldn't be saving money to buy a course. You should save money to build your capital. I would never take any, allow anybody to take credit and then come join my course. At least if, I'm no, if I have the knowledge of that, I would not allow it. You will not be in my course because you're not supposed to do that. That is not the right thing to do, right? It's that simple. 
If you go into course and they said they will take your money if that's your loss, if that's your, you know, borrowing that money to them and say, yeah, yeah, you borrow it and come, you'll become a millionaire, we'll teach you. Run away very far from them. You can even test them by saying, hey, I'm actually going to borrow money to come and take your course. And if he says yes, say goodbye. Because any good trader would tell you not to do that. I'm very dead serious. Any good trainer or trader out there will tell you not to do that. Don't take credit to trade. Don't take credit to take a course. And if they, if they say yes, they will accept it from you, say goodbye to them. Because they're, they're definitely scamming you. They're trying to make their money off of you and not off of allowing you to make money. It's that simple. It couldn't be simpler. All right? So let's go. Let's start with what we are doing. Sorry for that long thing, but many people were asking. So if you want it, Skype me, look at my charts. Under my charts, my Skype is there. Let's go. Dollar index. Last week, remember, we were talking about this trade. It's going down. Let me give you some trades we were talking about last week that you should have been in. Pong Oz. I posted this and I said, don't be in this trade, right? Make sure you keep the trade. First target would be here. Second target here. Possibly it could get all the way to that target. Watch this trade. This is a good trade. Don't miss it. I hope many of you are in it, right? Posted for you. Pang Yen posted today. I hope many, about a lot of my traders are in this one already because they got in on the entry order, which you guys didn't have. So my traders got in right around this area here, which you guys don't have. You, if you're not in the trade, you can wait for a flag here and buy this here and, or wait for a break of this and then take that trade. This is going to go, guys, and it is going to go big time. You, you can see the similarities of this one here, right? And the similarities of the Pong Oz. Very similar setup. See that? Very similar setup. We know these setups. We have a name for them. By the way, this is a pattern you're going to see in the chart over and over. Right? So watch this. It's going to go there, and the Pong Yen is following. Don't miss this one. I just posted. You can wait for the breakout. Or you can get into early if you know how to trade it. Remember, I'm not giving you a strategy how to trade it. Because if you don't have a strategy, you should not be trading. That's my concept. You're not ready to trade live if you don't have a strategy. You need to learn and learn and learn. And when you can able to develop that strategy or take a strategy that I give you and practice in it, then you're ready to trade. Otherwise, that you're not ready to trade. And you can't practice my strategy if you don't know my method of analysis. And that is why I don't give my strategy except to my traders because they understand what's my met, what is my method of analysis. Watch these trades. This is a good trade. This trade will come. It will test the stop. And at that point, they may go down. So keep an eye on it. Pung going up. Remember, I've been saying Pung is going to go up for a while. I've been warning you guys. Watch it. It's going to go up. So two things you're going to watch for the Pung now because this could be a very, very big move. Let me show you in the daily. Two things the pong can do. It can break the structure. That is not a triangle until it's proven it's a triangle, which means until it breaks out of the triangle downwards, then it's a triangle. It could be a triangle for the upside also. And all of you would remember my copper chart that I post once and show you how the triangle changes, right? So at this point, it's either going to bounce to the downside and go back up or break out. At this point, if it breaks here, it's going to go up, but that's not the start of an uptrend. It is going to go down after that. So the upside will be a C wave and then downside. So what you're going to look for in the four hours is here. Watch this trade. If it breaks, by the way, I made, a, I made a real dumb mistake in this thing because I was in the trade and I moved my stop. I was looking for a deeper pullback like this. Remember I told you guys a possible deeper pullback and I moved my stop, got taken out of the trade, I think right somewhere here. And it just took off without me. But that's okay. That's part of trading. I was in from the very bottom almost. That's part of trading. I, I really thought they'd give us that deep pullback. I could have got in back, but just probably it wasn't interested anymore. It wasn't that big a risk to reward anymore remaining. So what I'm going to look for, my next interest, is the next big trade down. Or when it breaks, this is going to make a flag and the next trade up. But I'm still interested in that down trade. The bigger move is to the downside. This thing has at least one more sharp move to the downside before it starts to go up. So... We have focused this down move all the way from the top here. And I focused that they're going to break the low. We focused this move down here, this one here, from that top there for Brexit. We looked at this one here, and we're telling you there's one more here coming. 
right? So keep an eye on this. Either this point, either they break and then go, but there's one more big move coming. Keep an eye on that one more big move. Now for the smaller trades, daily trades that you would probably want. I don't think if you're in the trade, you want to move your stop very tight. Watch it as it comes to the trend line. If they break out, we'll wait for a pullback and then we'll get in the trade. There is a chance for a big move to the upside after that, right? Probably the next couple of hundred pips before they turn downwards. If they start to turn from here, you want to get that trade because they could come to the low or they could break it. We don't know which they're going to do. One out of two, but it's a sell and you'd get in the sell. When they come to the lower trend line, which is a couple hundred pips away from where we are, if they're to turn here, you'll get in somewhere here. So you'll be anyway like about 400 pips before you make the decision whether to exit the trade or whether it's going to break through. And if you're lucky, that 400 pips could happen pretty fast, right? Aussie to the downside, I think none of you here are surprised because that is what we've been looking for for a long while, right? So watch for this breakout. This could crawl up for some more, right? This could go up some more, right? It could do this and do this and do this for a good while and then break. It may not break today, it may not break tomorrow even. But do you want to buy into a structure like that? I don't. I don't want to buy into something like that. That's not, that will kill you. Literally, you got to wait for each one of those candles to retrace, retrace, retrace. You want to catch a trade when it's going down. So on a four hour, we want it to come back to this low. We want it to come back to this low and then bounce from here to the upside because we're in a daily possible triangle pattern. We can't confirm it's a triangle as yet until it's, it's proven it's a triangle, but we're looking for it to come here and then up. So this would give you one, two, three. Don't miss this move down, but better yet, don't miss that move up. There is a one chance that it could break out of that triangle and then go up, which is similarly what I was explaining to you in the Pong now. Now we're not gonna go into explaining why they do that or what is those patterns are, what those patterns are, but we can tell you what is a possibility for it to do that. Now, as it comes to the low, we will tell you whether it's going to do that. Right? Based on our analysis, we will know whether it's going to do that. Right now, we're just trading this to the downside and all the way to the low here. We'll try to catch this straight to the low. Now, it's not going to go in a straight line. There's a good chance you might get one of these deep pullback. That'd be a good reason to exit and look for another entry. Uh, can you guys just answer, Keith, if you're getting lagging? If you're getting lagging, just let him. Uh, is anybody else getting lagging right now? Type a Y if you're getting lagging. If you're not, don't answer. Okay, that's just about 10 people. You guys should log, log out and log in back. Because I think the rest of the people, 335 people not having problem with, with that. Log out and log in back and that would be good. Yes, there is a way to tell. We, we, we would be able to tell you if there's going to be that deep pullback. So if you guys go very fast, we'll give you two minutes. We'll stick around right here on the, on the, on the um, Aussie. I'll go more in-depth in the Aussie while we are waiting for those guys to log out and log in back. Yep, so look at the Aussie from the weekly. Those of you who are in, you're going to get a treat here now. You're going to learn a few things. What we're looking for is a correction like this. See that correction there? They had an impulse, a correction, an impulse. We're looking for another correction and one more impulse down. See that? So what we're looking for right now is this one to come here, go back up there, and then come down here. Amazing, right? We can tell you three different directions this thing will go. Now, would it be exactly like this? I think no, they don't do exactly like that, but it will be similar to what we're looking for. And that means we can trade it down, we can trade it up, and we can trade it back down. If it does that, we can do all those trading. Right now, we're trading it down. On the daily, sorry, daily. I think all of you remembered we trade this down. We had that forecast on the daily for that down structure. So we traded that one down. We traded this down. We traded this one up. We traded that down, we traded this up. We're trading this one to the downside. If it does, if it continues to do what we think it will do, which is it comes here, 
we're going to trade it up again. Right? We're going to trade it up again. And this time we're going to trade it up all the way to, we're going to trade it up as an impulse all the way to around here. And then we would look for a sell setup, which would be a very big trade to the downside. That is how you do forecasting. The magic of knowing what it's going to do. It's called wave analysis. We know what wave it makes and when it makes the wave and how it makes the wave. Most of the time we are very accurate in it because of, because of the way we analyze the chart. Not because of me or because of any, but because of the systematic way we analyze the chart. Understanding the patterns, knowing how they behave, right? New Zealand, every now and then you may not get it correct, but the new, most of the time you do. New Zealand, we are watching at this piece and they did make that pullback. Now we're waiting to see what it's going to do here at this point. If it breaks this top, it's going to give us something like this and then downside, right? Most likely we would see something like this. If they don't break that top, it's not such a good trade because it could be still in the consolidation here to go back up. So the downside, you can take the trade, but it will be very short-lived. You want it to break the top first. And then that'll be good. So if they go up, it's a buy, but this is not a good buy. You can see that. Even in the 15 minutes, that's a really tough buy. See that one? Even in the 15 minutes, it's not the best buy. So we probably will wait to see if they break. And if they break, the sell will be a good sell. Right? The sell will be a great sell. CAD, let's see what CAD is doing. Okay, CAD is going up. Let's take this one out. They did they break that structure to the upside. Take this out. And now we're going to look at the bigger picture in CAD. Put this one. So we probably in one of these flats or a triangle. Again, you're either in a flat or a triangle. Which one is it? No idea. But if they break this structure and they make a flag there, we will buy. If they bounce off the top to come here, we will sell at the bottom here. Right? So as long as they're in that triangular pattern, I wouldn't do anything. I'd allow them to break, make a flag, and then buy or sell. And there is a reason why both of those, those directions may work. How to determine a flag, go to babypip.com, learn patterns, learn everything you can there. Go learn Elliott Wave, go to elliottwave.com. There's a free book or you can actually buy the book. It's called... Uh, the principles of Elliott Wave, learn the different wave theories, learn the different structures, learn the different um, corrective structures, learn the different degrees, and a, and a, f a flag is actually a, a corrective structure in a lower degree. I hope I answered your question, right? That is, so I can't do all of that here now in five minutes, right? But I tell you very shortly how you can know what is a flag is. That's what we call a flag. A flag is actually a corrective structure, but in a very low degree. Probably a 15 minute and a one hour, right? A one that is consolidating so much that you, you, we're not really interested in the structure itself. We're interested in the breakout of it, right? It's easy. It's not that difficult. Uh, we, don't, we don't so much use Elliott Wave. We use wave theory. Some, but before you learn wave theory, you may have to know the patterns in Elliott Wave because most of them are pretty much the same patterns we use, right? Swiss. Swiss was a cell setup. I think all of you saw that. I, I think I, I can't remember if I posted this one because I wanted to. I can't remember post it. We're watching it as it comes to this low. We're watching it when it comes here. So there's more downside. There could be a pullback. At this stage, I think there will be a pullback. If you want to trade this to the downside, wait until it pulls back. They may pull back from here. And if they do that, you can sell again. A flag and a flat are two different things. The flat is the name of a structure. A flag is a, any kind of a structure on a lower degree. Like I said, I'm not here to explain that the difference here. That's not what we're here for today. That's training. You should get into training session to know that. USCN. Four hour. Amazing, right? The difference, hey, hey, let me show you. This is my chart, so I think I can go into the chart and show you something, right? The difference between Elliott Wave traders and Wave Theory traders, what we trade. So if I go to the one hour and I go into my chart there, you would see how we make forecasts differently, right? So this is my chart.
right? And what were we looking for? Can you see what we're looking for? We're looking for this to come down, right? Because we're looking at this pattern, one, two, three, and this should come down. All right, there's a good reason why we're doing that. So it actually broke slightly. I'll go back to the chart so you guys could see it. It actually broke slightly, not very much. I showed you guys, it's probably gonna go back up and then come watch for that trade. Instead of breaking this pattern, it went a little higher, right? This went a little above the top. That did not change the structure. I actually posted the structure so everybody can see that that did not change the structure. Watch for this breakout and sell it because there's no way this structure will change, right? One, two, three, this will come down. That is, that is, the analysis keeps showing us that we are still in a downtrend. I showed you it here. Watch for this, it's a downside. That is what we do as wave analysis trader. See that trade? It's still the downside and it has to break that low. That's the minimum, it has to break that low. Elliott wave traders will have it as going bullish. They think it's gonna go up because Elliott wave traders will have it as going bullish, going up, especially that it make one more move up. Well, the difference is not putting numbers and letters in your chart does not make you a wave trader, right? If you put all kind of letters and, and fancy things in the chart, that doesn't mean you know what you're doing, right? This is my chart, so I have the right to show it, right? I'm not showing anybody else's chart, I'm showing my chart. And I'm saying, it's not about Elliott Wave. A lot of people have decided that you have to just label things all over the place and then you're an Elliott Wave trade. It's all, it's all primitive, put it that way. That's a primitive level of understanding wave theory. When you literally understand wave theory, you don't have to label it. The label is just a guidance, right? The label is a guidance to what the structure is doing. It does not change what the structure is doing. And if you understand what the structure is doing, you don't need to be spending time wasting that. You can look at the structure and say, this is going to go down. It's not bullish. It's that easy. That's the difference between what we do and what Elliott waivers do. There's a huge difference, right? That is the difference. We look at the structure and we said, this structure is going to go down. They look at the structure and said, oh, I put some numbers here and my number says it's going to go up. Well, follow the numbers. We follow the structure. That's the difference. You, uh, by the way, this one, look for turning points. I think this is ending. This move is ending. It's completing a three wave pattern. One, two, three. So very soon, maybe some more down. I think somewhere in here, maybe to the 618, and then we should start to see an up move, right? So look at that, Euro Oz. Okay, remember this one? It's either going to break out or it's going to bounce for one more wave to the downside here. Both of this is possible right now. We're at the top. So they're either gonna go or they're gonna come back here and then go. And both of those are very, very possible. Looking at the pattern as it is right now, it's kind of telling us that they may want to break out, right? We're looking at this structure and they're telling us that they may want to break out. It's going very aggressive. Nothing in it says that it's gonna turn. So we'll keep an eye on it when it comes here. If they start to turn, we will be selling it all the way back to this level. If they break out, they will make a correction here and then we'll all be buying. As it is right now, you probably don't want to do anything if you're not in the trade, right? You don't want to do anything at this point because at this point, they will have to talk to us. And when they tell us what they're going to do, like they did here, right? When they show you that reversal sign and that sideways pattern, then you can start to sell it down. So wait for this trade if you're not in it. You're in New Zealand, this is this one, we're still looking for a very big trade up, but the correction is coming very soon. It's actually crawling up here. You can see this piece is going up. We have completed one wave up, a correction, a wave up, a correction, and they're going up here pretty slow. You can still buy, but it's going to be, if you buy this, you gotta be careful because at some point they may make a deeper correction before they go, right? So I wouldn't advise to get into trades right now in this, wait for that deeper correction, and then we take the trade up, right? 
the trade to the upside is a very big move and we have broken all the structures that need to be broken. So at this point, I think this here, we'll wait for a deep correction and then upside. Right, let's see if they give us that deep correction. How deep is it? And then we will decide, you know, where to get in that trade again. So if you're in the trade, move your stops very tight. Probably the level where if they break this trend line, you're out of the trade, right? Let's go. Swiss, Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss, I told you it's gonna go down, but don't trade it. Well, it's going to come down here, don't trade it. When it comes here and it starts to go up, then we will trade it. Don't trade it, it's gonna come down in a mess. It's very slow, it's in a big daily correction and it wouldn't go anywhere, see that? So don't trade it to the downside, but it's coming here. It's gonna probably start do this and then you know do that and then come here and then go back up. This is the trade you wanna get. That trade will be pretty fast. The downside is no good. EuroCAD, we were looking for this to tag this low, but it didn't tag it. We were hoping that they would tag that low and then go to actually turn before that. We missed the trade because of the turning. I, I was pretty much hoping that they would come here and then turn, right? But they actually turned a little early and most of my traders missed the trade actually. So they're going up very aggressively now. Where is the big picture? Turn it on this one. And the big picture will be here. They're about to tell us something there. Right, just like the Euro Oz and the Euro New Zealand and the Euros at this level, either they're gonna break or they're gonna come back for one more within this structure. And then we will see whether we're getting that upside, right? So keep an eye on this structure. One more downside, it's a good trade. If they break, it's a good trade. Both of those are very, very big trades. So it's Euro Oz, Euro New Zealand, Euro Swiss. To the downside, if they start to go down, trade the Euro Oz and the Euro Cat. If they just go sideways, wait for it and then trade. If they're going to continue to go up, you want to go with the Euro New Zealand as well. Yep. So keep an eye on this. When it gets to that top, I'm on the weekly, don't, don't forget that. On the daily, there may be one or two small trades up there if you manage to get them. If you don't, they're not gonna go. We were looking for a correction. Actually, we're looking for a correction here. I posted this, look for a cell set up here because we thought they were gonna come here and then go. We're looking for like a one, two, three wave. Well, that never happened. They actually did make a three wave, but it's a very, very small three wave pattern in here. We thought we were gonna have a bigger three wave pattern. We never got that bigger three wave pattern and it's going up. So they may finish this move and then go down, right? They may have just finished that move and then go down. So that one we never got in the trade to the downside and that is why we missed the upside as well, right? When you're wrong, you're, you're wrong both ways in it, right? You, didn't, you are not in the trade and you don't get the trade that is going. So New Zealand, uh, the Euro Yen, I think it's upside. They've made a very deep pullback here. Let's watch it when it comes. If they break out of this structure, we're looking for this to come all the way to that target, right? So we'll keep an eye on this. This is going to go up. It's look upside to me. There is rare chance that this one will go more downside here and then go up, making a three-wave structure here, right? It doesn't look like that, but keep an eye on it for the, for the, for the breakout if they're going to break this structure here. Right? This is starting to go up, but it's not tradable as yet. Wait for them to make an impulse, make a flag, and then we'll start to buy if you're not in the trade. I'm still in this trade from way down at the bottom, right? Yep, yeah, I'm still in this one. I still keep it and I, I, I've I, made my decision. If it gives me break even, it gives me break even, I'll, I'll live with that. And that is giving up a lot, right? This is the only one I kept from the, the, the Euro pairs because I had more confidence in this one. Uh, let's go, Euro Pong. Euro Pong, I, we also think there's one more upside coming to break this trade down. Watch this, I'll probably post this after the webinar for you guys. Watch this, it, it might crawl down here some more, but eventually it's gonna break and that is the trade you're looking for. Because if they go there, after that we'll get a big downside, right? This is the, this is the structure we're looking at. One, two, three, and then downside. See, that will give you one, two, three. So, Watch this trade here. If they keep crawling down and you can sell this in a lower time frame, maybe it's worth it. But we're looking for them to come there and then go down. This would be a better trade for us, 
right with more confidence. Put it at the four hour. Let's see if they're going to break. We don't know if they're going to break, but it looks good. If they break, we will buy it. The selling is not very interesting right now as it is. Selling this in this pattern is not a great idea. All right, let's wait for the breakout and buy it. We're not trading in here, Ali. We will not look at trade setups in terms of trading. I'm giving you an idea of what I see in the charts and the direction they will go, no problem. We will do that in our trading room. I guess my guys, you should know what to do if you see the breakout, right? Pong Oz, British Pong Oz, this is going already. I showed you this when we started and I think they will just come and finish this move off here, right? They may just finish this move off here and then we will get either a total downside on the daily, you can see that. Either a total downside, they'll go when they finish this move. Or like this, which will make a one, two, three here. Or they will give you a sideways and then come here before they go down. This will give you one, two, three. So, by the way, a lot of traders thought this will not go, right? They were, they were like downside on this. And I said, no, look at the upside, right? You see the pattern, you know it's going to go. It's still going up, right? So this could be a nice trade. If you're going to wait for a trade in it, you probably have to wait for a flag. This one is gone. That flag is gone. Wait for another flag and then buy. Right? I hope you guys saw that one. If not, wait for another one, then buy. XAG. I actually thought they'll make a deeper pullback. I didn't think they were going to go immediately. But they, they, they're moving fast, so we'll wait to see if we get a deeper pullback at some point. We're coming to XAG. We'll go through every one and then we'll come. Pung New Zealand State of that is up, but it's already at the top. It's already where it should be, which is that top. There isn't a lot to do there anymore. See, they're already at the top. And once they break that top, they can turn. So you don't want to buy right into the top. Pungcad, this one was a real mess, right? Remember last week we were thinking that they will come here first and then go up and they actually just took off. And we were look, looking for this trade from here, from this point, right? Remember this one? Break and go. They just consolidated here for a long while and then they took off. So the daily, where is it going? And the daily, if the Aussie is breaking the flag, you can trade it. If you have a strategy, watch it when it comes here. They're probably, all the punk pairs, you notice they have this one, two, three pattern and then they can go down. All of them, all the punk pairs are the daily, only on the daily. Right, look at the Pong CAD, look at the Pong New Zealand. One, two, three, and then down. Look at the Pong Oz. One, two, three, and then down. This one is a little far away, but it could go fast. Right? So they're all showing us that similar structure. Pong Chief, very similar structure. We're going, I showed this already. This one is going. It's probably going to climb to this level and then down. Right? You're going to get there one, two, three. Let's see the Pong Yen just posted. Right? Also, I think you're going to get a one, two, three. This one may go up mostly because of the pong, of the yen, sorry. Watch the yen, the dollar yen and the yen for this to go up. If this goes up, the yen will be the moving factor most, 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 up, most likely. And the yen will be the one pushing it. Cad yen, it's coming down pretty strong, but at some point this will start to go back up. They have to make a consolidation to the upside, right? They'll have to probably pull back here and then go down or pull back here and then go down but the bigger picture is starting to look upside right so keep an eye on it they could keep doing this and pulse to the downside too also if they're going to keep pulsing to the downside you have to wait to get in the trade wait for it to come back here wait for it to come back wait for it to come back and then sell it don't try to sell the candles moving because you're going to get yourself in trouble. Eventually, they'll pull back. And when they pull back, then, then, then you want the trade. So we're looking for that pullback. If it has to happen lower, that's okay. When they pull back into here, then we're going to, we're going to buy that and then we'll sell it from the top. Right? So there's a good chance you want to wait for that to come back. Don't sell it to the bottom. Right? Your sell setup was at the top if you wanted to. Aussie Yen dropped very nice. Still going, by the way. Right, still going. Remember that trade from here, actually. Same thing showing you. See, we showed you the upside, we showed you the downside, and we think they're going to come all the way to this level. Right? So they're about that level already. So when they come there, you'll watch it because at that point, 
if the yen starts to go up, it may start pulling this to the upside. On the daily, it's possible it could be making a three wave structure for upside, right? One, two, three. This makes a one, two, three here and go back up. So keep your eyes on that. Let's see if it's going to happen. New Zealand. Sorry. New Zealand, go back. New Zealand, stay out of this. This is just going down fast and you have nothing to do until you until it pulls back. It looks more downside than the rest of the yen pairs. It could still pull back pretty deep. We got to wait until this does that. There's nothing to trade here. It's not a tradable moment as it is right now. Maybe not this week. I don't see anything much in this this week there. Swiss yen, we can skip. New Zealand cat, I'll go through pretty fast. Going up back, watch this pattern. When it comes here, we could look for one more down or breakout. All right? So it's going up nicely. No trade setups. Nothing there you can trade, it's gone, right? So you have to wait for that trade. Same with the Aussie CAD, nothing to trade on it right now, right? It's going up, let it go up some more, make a consolidation here, and then we look for a sell setup. Aussie, New Zealand pulling back deeply. I already showed you guys this, it's gonna pull back deeply now. And we will watch this pattern here. If they give you a sell setup, we'll sell it. If they go back up, we'll buy. Right now, some of my traders may be in the cell. I don't know if they close it. They may have closed it also. They're in the cell. We can watch this. If it starts to break up, we will buy because there's still a chance they'll go test the trend line, right? Wait for it to come up. Wait for it to make a flag and then take the trade, right? Yep, it will be recorded and it will be on YouTube, right? The link is under all the charts I post. You'll get it there. Silver is a surprise. I thought silver will go down back from here. Make at least one more move down from here. Right? See, we're looking for this to break. That didn't break, so I'm not in the buy. We're not in the buy. We're still waiting. There. We would not buy it to the top. I would not definitely buy silver there, right? Because there's no buy there. I wanted to come here, come back down here, probably get a sell in it, and then go back up. Now I'll buy it. When it makes that one, two, three wave structure, then I would look for my buy. See? I would not be looking for a buy right now. Aussie's breaking. You in the trade? If you have a strategy to trade it, trade it. We will not take the trade here. We take the trade on in our trading room, right? So, because I cannot give you how we trade. I cannot give you the strategy of how we trade it, right? Some of my traders may have sold it. Some may not have sold it. I can tell you some of them are not selling it as yet. I wouldn't sell it as yet if I had to trade it, but I can give you my strategy, right? So gold, same thing with gold. Gold actually go up more than we expected it to go. But it's in this channel, right? You can. This was the buy setup we were looking for in gold. We Remember I told you we bought that? It started to make this pattern. So watch it at the top here, because from the top here, there's a good chance if they don't break out violently and make a flag right they can reverse back to this downside making a three wave structure one two three before they go back up so we will look for sell setups here and buy if you're going to buy it they have to first break out here pretty strong make a flag here a big not even flag a corrective structure and then we will go with that right they'll make a big corrective structure and then you will go with that trade so I'll tell you what to do with the Aussie. Let me see. Those of you who sold it already, you're, you know what you're doing. You have your, your plan. You're an aggressive trader, right? Those of you who are not that aggressive, wait, right? Wait for it to prove it's going to go, right? If you have a strategy, I hope you do. You know how to trade, right? Remember I said the idea is to just give you the direction it's going to give you. You must have a strategy, right? Don't worry, it's not running away from you anyway. You will have enough time to enter that trade. Don't panic and don't jump in the trade. So let's go. Oil. More downside, no trading as yet. No trading in here because they're making a consolidation, right? And they can make one, two, three, and then go. Don't sell it at this level. It's not a sell setup. Same with the UK oil. Don't sell it where it is right now. Actually wait for them to pull back and then sell. Right? Those who are in the sell, if you're still in the sell, that's okay, but don't sell it. 
I didn't miss the euro. I think we, we, we spoke about the euro. The euro is going up, but if anything, we'll do it again. We'll do those three again for you guys. Natural gas, somebody was asking, possible it could go down. Somebody was looking for the downside. There is a possibility it could break. Keep your eyes in it. I'll take this off so you can see this has no value. It could break, and if it breaks here, you may get a sell for one more wave down, right? More like a one, two, three wave structure. I think they, they could break to the downside, so keep your eyes on that. What else? S&P 500, we're not gonna go through everything. Downside, more downside, actually. This is an, now you start watching it. Remember last week we said it's gonna go down? Watch it now, because at this point, it can start to go back up, right? So, on the big picture you see, they made a one, two, three here, a one, two, three. Watch for it, if they go back up and they make a flag, you sell again. Go back up, make a flag yourself. But I think they may just go back, tag the top, and then fall. All right? So let's go. Nifty. I'll do Bitcoin for you. Somebody asked for Bitcoin. Nifty this morning. I was telling my traders also watch it. It broke the top. They will come back up here and then sell. If they give you that flag and they break here, that's a good sell setup. Don't miss it. All right? Go wait for a sell. Wait for it to go to the top, come down back, and then sell. Right, don't don't buy gold at the top here. It's at the top. Don't buy it there, right? Because it's unlikely going to go off from here. They'll pull back and then go, or they're going to come back all the way here and then go, making a three-wave structure there. So don't buy it at the top right now there. Wait for that buy setup, right? Nifty, copper, nothing to do there. All the rest of them, nothing to do. So I think Bitcoin, somebody wants to see. Let's see what Bitcoin is doing. daily okay bitcoin came back to the trend line let's see is there a possibility for more upside four hours possible yes it could go up you're looking at an upside you're actually breaking out right now so you're breaking out right now so that is a good trade set up on the one hour so wait for a flag if you're not in the trade wait for any pullback and then trade it up right because you notice every time they came to the trend line, they bounced. They came to the trend line, they bounced, came to the trend line, bounced, they came to the trend line, they're bouncing again. And there is a good chance it could go up more, right? Uh, let's see this one, D30, DAX. Remember I told you guys it's going to break? Well, it did break, and they're making a correction, right? So. If you want, you can sell. But this may start to be just, just a correction and then up, one more up. So watch it as it goes, but it looks corrective to the downside, right? Let's go. Everybody wants to see Euro, let's go. Dollar index. Dollar index could turn from this point. Let's go to the daily. Dollar index, remember I said watch it. One, two, three. Well, they made the one, two, three. They could actually go up from here now. So at this point, it's at a turning point. Let's see if they turn. All right, we'll have to see if they turn. And it looks like they may turn today. All right, what will give us a turn? They'll have to give us an impulse, give us a correction, and then we know they're going. What is the euro doing? Did the euro make the three wave I told you it is likely going to make? Let's go. Daily. If you've been in my webinar, remember I said one, two, three. One, two, three, and now they can go down. See? And we have been doing this for the last couple of weeks. It's not like I only said that today. For the last couple of weeks, we've been saying, well, this cannot be all the correction. They're likely going to make a one, two, three wave like that, right? Well, is the third wave complete? The question is always, is the third wave complete? And we don't know that. But right now, it looks like they could come down. So what you'll wait for is an impulse, a breakout, a flag, and then trade. You will not get that trade today, maybe tomorrow. Right? Copper has nothing there right now, no setup, so don't worry with it. Can they make a pullback and go again? Can they make a pullback here and go again? Yes, they can do that. So if you get a flag here again, like you had a flag here, and like you had a flag, remember I posted, every time they make a pullback, you can buy. So if this makes a pullback by the pong we did in details, 
We did the pound in the daily. I said, watch this stop here. It's an area they can bounce now. At this area here, you want to wait for either the pound break out and make a, a structure and then go, or it comes back to this level. So on that case, in a four, one, four hour, let's say, one hour, it's at the top. So wait for it to come. It has to come down here, make a flag, and then you can sell. And if you sell it, keep it all the way to this low. Right? So remember, we're saying it's going up. It went up. Watch it at the top to come down now. And it, there's a good chance it could break out. Not necessarily right now, but there's a chance it could do that. So keep your eyes on that as well, right? It could break out. Let's see what else we have. Pong going down, Euro probably going down, Aussie probably going down, New Zealand probably going down. It means watch the dollar index could turn. Remember the dollar index is a combination of what these pairs are doing, right? Yen could turn to the upside. Remember I said watch the yen, it could turn to the upside. But you will have to let it prove it could turn by letting it break out of this structure make a corrective structure and then you want to buy it like this then you want to sell it then you want to sell it remember what we did we let it break let it make a flag and then we sold it patience do the same thing right okay let's take some questions let me see identifying price action and are you identifying price action based on patterns and breakout no i'm identifying price action based on wave analysis right you know, traders like to say, I trade price action. And I always ask them, what do you think the rest of the world is trading? We're all trading price action. So when people said, we only trade price action, they're literally telling you nothing because everybody who trades, trades price action, right? What you're trading is the movement of the chart and that is price action, right? So we trade, our analysis is based on wave analysis, right? So let's go. Let me see the next one. What about identifying directions of structure? That's a six weeks course. Anything to identifying, that's a six weeks course. Uh, UJ turned to the upside. We, we spoke about that, expect that. What is the best setup for longer term? I can't give advice on that. That's not something I give advice on here. Uh, bonus in terms of knowledge. I gave you a lot of knowledge here already. There's so many things you can learn from this webinar alone. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, price action, what is price action? I never got it. Price action is the movement of price. I don't know why, why people said, oh, we only trade price action. Everybody trades price action. That's the whole thing. Everybody, it's like telling you nothing. We all trade price action. If you're buying, that's a price action. If you're selling, the price movement of the price is price action. People just say things that seems to sound nice. Just question what they say. We all trade price action. I what, what I want you to tell me is not what you trade. What is the basis of your analysis? That's the question you should ask somebody. What do you use to, to make your analysis, right, of the chart? You have to make an analysis. You have to have, you also have to have bias, right? Because that is what you trade. What you trade is your bias of the chart. Because you come in and you said, hey, I like Euro. I would like to sell Euro. Nothing is wrong with that. My question to you is, why are you selling the euro? What makes you think the euro is going to go down? You could be right or wrong. It doesn't matter. What you have to tell me is what you're using to make that analysis. And if you said, hey, I'm looking at a support here, or I'm looking at it's, it's hitting a resistance, I will tell you goodbye. Because there's nothing like support and resistance in the chart. If you tell me one of my butterfly pattern is ending here, I would say, OK, goodbye. I'm flying away far from you because there's nothing like butterflies in the chart, right? I don't see butterflies in the chart. I don't see animals in the chart because I don't like that as a way of analyzing the chart. If you tell me I'm trading price action, I'll want to know what the hell am I trading then because I'm trading the same thing, price action. So you have to tell me what you use to make. If you said, okay, there's fundamental news in the market and that's why it's gonna go, okay, I'll agree with you. Maybe you're right. There is some fundamental reason you trade. Now I cannot, forecast fundamental reason that is why i don't trade fundamentals because i cannot forecast the news i have no way of doing that. i don't have enough knowledge to do that to make my to, to give me a bias based on news event 
I do not know how to trade it. That's very simple. That's why I don't trade it. But if, what I do is I look at the wave analysis and based on that, I can tell you these wave patterns that they have high probability of going one side or the other. And that is what I trade. Is that easy? It's not magic. It's not. I am using wave analysis to determine the direction it's going to go. And if my bias is to that side, I would look for a trade set up to trade it. So first, my analysis. Second, confirmation of my analysis, which is my strategy that gives me a way to trade. And then the third thing is my money management so that I don't lose my account if I'm wrong. See, it's that easy. That's what trading is about. Now, all of that will be very good if you have the knowledge. Because if you don't have the knowledge, you're definitely going to lose your account. It doesn't matter what you trade. Whether you're a fundamental trader, whether you're a wave analysis trader, if you don't have enough knowledge of the market, of what it's doing and how to do that correctly, it's like going to a doctor who has a certificate but not enough knowledge. You're likely not coming out of there cured. Right? So that is the important thing. Does the person who says, I'm a, I, hey, I'm a super wave expert, does that person have enough knowledge of the wave analysis? And you can know that. That's a noble fact. Right? You can go into his charts, take 100 of his predictions, and look at them. That, that is how you do it, right? You go to everybody. If he doesn't, if he doesn't have 100 charts post, forget about him. That's too early to tell whether he knows anything. Go to somebody who has 100, 200 charts, and then study those 200 charts. Look at, their, look at the webinars they do. Look at the webinars I do. And look at my forecast for last week and my forecast for the week and tell how many of them went, how, whether I have the direction right, whether I know what I'm doing. Same you would do with anybody who is using a, a certain specific way of analysis. You want to know whether their analysis is good, whether their strategy is good, just go and look at it and they will tell you, oh, this guy knows what he's doing, right? That's it. It's that simple. It, it's not difficult. It's almost going there already. So uh, what do you think about Dow theory? Does it support information about structure and pattern? Maybe. Dow does say that they are, they, the, the market moves in three waves. Elliot says it moves in five waves. I think both of them have right to what they're saying. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's hardly you could say that one is right and one is wrong. Because I would tell you there's a lot of time we see only three waves in the pattern rather than five. Even where some Elliot we ever see five waves. And most of the time when we see three waves, they're pretty correct. Like the yen. The yen is a good example where I show you. Some elite waivers were looking for five waves. We were saying, nope, look for the downside. It's a three-wave structure. And it turned out to be a three-wave structure, right? Yep, you guys should watch the recording. So let me stop the recording here. We don't want to make it too long. <laughs>